I'm connecting to the Access Gateway Advanced Access Control Portal. I'm letting it run my scan. I'm going to log in as myself. And I've got a preset set of resources. I've got my web interface 4.2 integrated on the left. I should have some websites available in the middle pane and some file shares over here on the right. I'm going to hit one of my file shares. And I'm going to, I should have a PowerPoint with some file type association configured, so I'm just going to launch through that. I'm going to hit the launch button here. Go up the PowerPoint presentation server virtualized application. The point here is that by default, when I get into my application and presentation server, by default we've got something called client drive mapping turned on. It's one of the virtual ICA channels, and the idea is that from the client drive, I'm here coming in through the AG ADV machine. From the client drives of the AD, AG ADV machine, I'll see those client drives mapped in my presentation server session, but instead of C and D and E, I'll see V and U and T, and it goes up that way, up the alphabet. So I'm starting PowerPoint here. This is coming through a regular Citrix ICA session. I got there through the launch of my advanced access control portal. Here's my PowerPoint, whatever. I'd work on it for a little while, and when then I finally go file save as. Right, this is coming out of my HR benefits share. But if I hit the drop down menu, it turns out I've got the default situation. I've got client drive mapping. I'm using my local client drives mapped as V and U. C and D are the server drives in the presentation server. So I want to integrate presentation server console policies with advanced access control. One way of turning off client drive mapping on the presentation server is I can just turn on a PSC policy and I can say nobody gets client drive mapping. But now that I've integrated advanced access control into my farm, I'll be able to do a little more fine tuning. Let me file exit out of my published application and just gracefully get out of this. I'm going to log out of my website and quit all applications. So I've logged out successfully. I'm going to create a filter in advanced access control and I'm going to integrate the advanced access control policies with the PSC policies for controlling presentation server resources. So first, I'm going to scan. I'm going to say that here's the plan. I don't want any Windows 2003 servers with SP1 to get the client drives mapped. There's no reason they need it. They might need the application. They don't need client drives mapped. Maybe other machines get their client drives mapped. So I'm going to be scanning for Windows 2003 SP1. AGADV is one of these machines. I'm going to go Operating System Scans, Windows Service Pack, and I can I'll delete this and recreate a scan for a second. Testing there. Uh, you can't delete a scan that's not now I'll just create a new one here. So I'm create a new Windows 2003 scan. I'll call this the Windows 2003 SP1 scan. Uh, B, because I already have one. I'm going to tie this available condition is going to be log on point. No client device regional locale, no other scans output as condition. And again, Win2K3 SP1 value. I'm going to declare all, actually no, declare Windows 2003 operating system the condition. And the logon point I decided to be conditional on is the sample logon point in this case. The property is going to be service pack 1. I'm searching for Windows 2003 service pack 1 and tied to the sample logon point. So that's a scan. This is my scan. This scan has no rule. It's probably tied to a logon point or something. All right, this scan needs to be put into a filter before I go integrate it into a PSC policy. Now, there are policies node. I've got a filters node here. I'm going to create a very short name for a filter because I'll have to remember it as I go over to the PSC console. So I'm going to create a filter. I'll just call this filter A. And I'll be able to remember that. Uh, next on the filter, this will be a typical filter. There won't be much to it. I'm simply going to tie it to the logon point. I'm not going to filter by authentication here. I am going to say this filter requires this scan to have been verified. This is the scan for Windows 2003 SP1. It's verified that it's got the service pack. All my 2003 machines do have the service pack. 
and that's it. Endpoint analysis output, client requirements, click finish. I've got filter A right here in the farm Citrix AAC. And so these two pieces of information, Citrix AAC and filter A, these two pieces of information I'm taking over to my presentation server farm. This is press serve B. And this is the presentation server console or the PSC. And these are PSC policies. So I'm going to create a policy. This is how it's done with the presentation server. This will be the do not map client drives in Windows 2K3 SP1. And with just presentation server, I'm actually not able to do something like that. I'm not scanning for things like 2003 SP1. So what I'll be doing with this is applying it to an advanced access control filter. So I'm first going to create the policy. And certainly inside PSC policies that we turn off client drive mapping. So I'll go in here. This is one of the things that's making the Citrix Connection configuration tool more scalable because this could have been done server by server in the Citrix Connection configuration tool. But I'm going to do it farm wide for anyone with a certain situation. So client devices, resources, drives. First I say do not connect client drives. Log on. And just to be safe, I also go up here and say turn off, turn off, turn off of any of the client drive mappings. So that's a client drive mapping disabling policy. Here's the interesting feature. It's what I apply this policy to. So I go right click apply this policy. Not by user, server's client name or client IP address, but by access control. I want to filter based on access control. And this MSAM here, or Metaframe Secure Access Manager, just the old name for advanced access control. I click that. I say any connection that meets the following filters, and I click add. And I'm going to type here the Citrix AAC farm. Down here, I say if you meet filter A, then we turn off client drive mapping. We do whatever this policy says. If you meet filter A, and remember meeting filter A just means you run Windows 2003 and SP1. I'm going to click OK on that. And this is a warning. It comes up even though I've already taken its advice. It says I have to select a trust the XML service feature on all the servers involved here. Let me just show you where that is. It's nice that it comes up as a warning. And I've already done it while testing here. Right click on press survey properties. The last node here, trust request sent to the XML service. And I've done the same thing on press serve B. So every server in my farm is trusting XML requests. So I'm going to come in to the sample logon point from a machine that has Windows 2003 and SP1. And I should now have my client drive mappings removed. Here's the time when I get to say I want to be scanned. And I just found out that I have SP1 in 2003, so my fate should be sealed. Still a couple of minutes, though, until I actually can verify that. Maybe about a minute. So I'm logging in on my sample logon point, and I've given it my credentials. I've already been scanned. I'll go back to the HR Benefits file share, which is where I launch my PowerPoint through File Type Association. <coughs> and just as before having set up this filter, I should be able to go straight into the PowerPoint 2003 published application off the Citrix server. As I get in there, since I've come in from a machine that happens to have 2003 SP1, the only difference is that I should not see my client drives mapped. So I go File, Save As, and the drop down menu, and I don't see my V and my U drive. These are simply the C and the D drive on the Citrix presentation server. If I were now to go connect from a Windows XP workstation, the policy would not be affecting me.